So you're in the middle of your set of bicep curls and you told yourself at the beginning, I'm gonna get 15 reps no matter what. I don't care how hard it gets. I don't care how much it hurts. I'm getting to 15 and that's final. So you continue your set and your form slowly starts to break down, but you push through it and you make it to 15. Finally, you can drop the weight and relax and enjoy the gains that follow, right? Wrong! Okay. That is not how you are supposed to train. Okay. Because when you aim for a specific number of reps, your only goal is to reach that number of reps. Sure, you may have trained hard, but did you train to failure? Maybe, maybe not. Not, it was pretty hard to tell considering your form turned to absolute dosh. You see, going into your set with a rep target already in mind is a recipe for disaster. Yeah! That's because when the weight starts to feel heavy and you inevitably start to slow down midway through, instead of letting your muscles fail, you then start to use momentum, less range of motion, body English, and improper technique in order to push through the last few reps and reach your goal. Oh, but look, I can't lift the weight anymore, so I failed. Yeah, you failed all right. Failed ability fucking muscle. Okay. Stop telling yourself before you're set exactly how many reps you're gonna do, especially when you know your form is gonna break down somewhere in the middle. Instead, aim for a rep range like five to seven and just push as hard as you can during that set without even thinking about the number of reps until you can literally just no longer lift the weight without your form breaking down. Maybe after all is said and done, you got nine reps. Maybe you only got four. What does this tell you? It tells you that you should probably increase or decrease the weight the next time to fall back in that rep range. Then then once you've found the right weight and you start to get comfortable training to failure while maintaining proper form, you can now somewhat expect how many reps you'll be able to get. But again, it's not like you stop because you hit that rep range, you stop because you hit failure and literally can't do any more, and it just so happens to fall in that rep range because you've adjusted the weight accordingly. This is how you train. That way, when you go back and do that same exercise again with the same weight and the same intensity, eventually you will be able to do more reps. And at some point, you will exceed your rep range, forcing you again again to increase the weight until you fall back in. This is progressive overload, and this is how you build muscle. And when you do this on every exercise for every muscle group during every training session, you will too start to get comments like this from people who are still doing those 15 reps to failure, wondering why you're making progress and they're not.